What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father, Amazon Kindle Create Space. Why a Trump presidency is interesting to me, at least. Um, because the campaign was, was ran on hatred. Because, I mean, racism is just one of the, 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 the uh, race, racism is just one of the components. I think it's hatred and fear. You know, um, this is why it interests me. Because when he gets in office, I saw one clip about, you know, going to repeal Obamacare. What you been saying for the whole presidency, the whole uh, campaign? I'm going to repeal Obamacare. And then he says, I'm going to repeal it and I'm going to replace it with some of the same stuff. And then at the same time, it's going to cost more. Now, you can look, you can, he, he said it himself. You can just look it up. He's out there. And ironically, you know, I saw that this, it was like a more, way more, there's like double the amount of dislikes than likes because all of a sudden it's like, what you say? So this is why it interests me. On the um, white supremacist racist part of it, um, it, it it's, um, it's about to get interesting because, you know, we're taking the country back. But it's going to be a funny cost to see what it's going to take you to take the country back, quote unquote, take it back. Because you're right, America has spoken. It was read all the fucking way through, you know, from Nevada to right outside of New York, to, to, to Pennsylvania, basically. You know what I'm saying? So this is what you want. I saw the 100 day plan and it, and it says to, you know, you're going to make China's currency a, looked at as market manipulator, which is funny to me because we owe China. Our dollar has basically been a market manipulator and we've been killing motherfuckers for trying to fuck with the, the, the cost of the dollar. So you want to fuck with China's currency when we owe them money? That sounds like you're trying to start a war. Just, you know. Because it sounds like you're trying to short them, mate. Just, just in my opinion, you know, the the we're gonna build a wall for the Hispanics. We we going The question is, you know, so you're gonna use who to build the wall? You know, we're gonna we're gonna, you know, all Arabs and you know we're gonna watch these Arabs and Muslims. Well, the people you worried about are already here. <laughs> so, uh, you're trying to say you're going to send people back just on a whim? You're just going to deport people? And, and the deportation, and the fear of deportation, you know, um, for the Hispanic community in particular, you know, I, I, just in general, like if, if you came here legally, I don't understand what you, what you scared about because you already know you're here legally. If you got caught, you're going to be deported. Like, I don't, that part, I don't get it. But it's like, I mean, you, it's people who actually came here and got in line and waited and waiting to be citizens. And you just came here, you know, on some pseudo wet foot, dry foot thing and just skipped ahead of them and act like that didn't exist. You got pregnant, you had a baby, and now the baby's supposed to be here, so you're supposed to be here. That's, that's fucked up. I'm going to be honest with you. That's fucked up. Um, so it is what it is on that. It, I mean, the the the... But all of the communities involved, you know, the, the fractures that, that, that are along with this. Because at the end of the day, I don't, it's not Trump per se. It's who Trump represents and what he ran on. So we got white men. We taking the country back. And these guys out here, you know, and well, I'm going to get to that. Getting overly emboldened now. But, not but they act like they don't understand this. They're going to get fucked up. Don't, don't think because it is like you just, oh, the, the, the white people of the past who outnumbered people and, 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 and built their whole fear based stuff on outnumbering people and, 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 and coming together as a group like 10 to 1, 12 to 1, that's kind of, the, that's kind of how the Ku Klux Klan works. That's kind of that's how lynchings work. That's how, that's how the legal system works. You know, I'm I'm a, I'm a section you off, and there's gonna be ten of us against one of you, and now we man enough to get you. That shit ain't, you ain't finna get them odds no more, cause you can't be trusted. Just saying. So now it's gonna be a bunch of one on one on ones, one on twos, one on fours, and to be perfectly honest, most people 
I'm not scared of white people beyond a certain number. Because they're like, man, nah, fuck y'all three, four up. Y'all, y'all ain't going to make it. You know. Um, white, white women going to have the fracture thing because we're feminists. We're coming together. Feminism. Feminism. We're going to get a woman in the White House. And then voted for Trump to get. You, you voted racism over feminism. So then all the women following you under feminism got to look at you like, wait a minute. We've been fighting against the patriarchy this whole time, and y'all bitches been down this whole time? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's women in there who are white, it, and all now white women like, what the fuck, what just happened? So, it is what it is. But also, it's going to be the viewing of everybody, of all these people playing both sides of the fence. You got racist, and you got, you, you got the, was the right, and you got the left. But they all basically in, in for white supremacy. Because say what you want. Hillary won the, the, the Hillary won the popular vote the same way Gore did, but when you look at the map, it was the country. So don't tell so don't say that liberals wasn't voting. Don't say that feminists wasn't voting. Don't say that uh, uh, all all other races and ethnicity ethnicities and religious religions weren't voting. So all this hate that was ran on, everybody's cool with it, right? And now for for my community, uh, stop all that riot and shit, man. Fuck all that. Let that motherfucker be there. Like there's gonna be. Tr- Bush 2.0. It's going to be a little bit, it's, it's going to be way more racial tension in the beginning. Absolutely. You know, but, you know, I, I know what he's trying to do. You know, we're going to make the laws go back to, you know, get these black people in jail. Cause it's, it's a lot of, it's, it's, it's a lot of divide and conquer. We're going to, we're going to, you know, we're going to section off the Hispanic community because, you know, they've been playing both sides of the fence and they know people like us probably ain't going to come to their defense because guess what? All of the stuff y'all been doing for years and the racism y'all been putting out, we don't forget that shit, right? And then the same thing with the Asian community, they did the same thing. You know, the Muslim and Arab community did the same thing. The gay community did the same thing. The feminist community did the same thing. So it's going, it's really a big divide and conquer because when it comes, because all of these people can't, can't trust each other. But at the same time, when all of these people get their moment, they all going to say, they all go run to the black community, brothers, brothers. But for the last eight years, you've been showing your natural ass, right? Gays been showing your natural ass. You know, feminists been showing their natural ass. Uh, 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 um, Hispanics been showing their natural ass. Asians been showing their natural ass. Uh, 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 Muslims and Arabs been showing their natural ass. But now, we all scared. You can't run under the umbrella of blackness. It's not, partner. It's not going to happen. But at the same time, that separation... And, and targeting one group and people like fuck them because they've been doing this is it, it, like a catch-22 because if you don't help them then you don't have the numbers but we already know who the fuck they are so it's, now it's like okay well if i help you you're gonna pay me fuck that i'm helping you at a, for a price you know what i'm saying we, we're gonna be heroes for hire now luke cage in this motherfucker oh you want us to show up how pay me what yep you want you want my numbers pay me you you know but but also, um, this is gonna backfire with, with white America because with the country in debt, we're wanting to 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 to, to tear up the Iran deal, we want to turn China into a manipulator. With the taking the country back, shit, you gonna have to fight for it. So all these gung ho rednecks, we gonna fight for our freedom everywhere on the planet. And the military already gonna get ran thin because. You fucking still in Iraq, really? You still, you're Afghanistan? Nah, you, you, you teeter tyrant on the way it's looking. You're going to be in Iran, and you're going to have to watch out for China e- invading this motherfucker. You know, that's why that's why the Russia and the Putin thing is kind of funny, because you know, you motherfucker know you need, you know what I'm saying? If China's becoming a superpower, you're trying to click up to, to keep them at bay, which, keep fucking around. It ain't China you're going to have to worry about. It's going to be fucking Korea. <laughs> Cause if China and Korea hook up, you are gonna have problems. Problems. They don't even fuck with each other, but you gonna have problems. Um. And the irony of that is this. Then the same redneck white people, we gonna take them out, but brothers, we gonna need you to fight for our country to keep. And then, oh, oh, you need us to fight for the country. Okay, no, go fight on your own. Well, fuck it in, niggas. Okay, go get yourselves killed. That, I mean, that's what it looks like. Like That's why I say it's going to be interesting. Because 
you know, people actually think, you know, Trump is, the only way Trump is going to be successful is if what he's doing, what I think he's going to do, and he's going to, him and the Republicans are going to do, is they're going to repeal everything they said Obama did, and redo it, and then rename it, so in the history books, it'd be white people did it, and then, because white people would be like, oh, Obama didn't do that, that was Trump. But it's going to be the same thing. If not, he's just going to repeal things and just let it go. It's going to be all hell. That's just my opinion. I'm out.